Will your ex regret breaking up with you? And if so, when will this happen? Many of you want to know if your ex's position will change and how will you know that that moment has come. As a relationship coach, I know how difficult it is to go through the process of breakup recovery when you love someone who no longer wants to be with you. And you may feel like your ex is so steadfast in their decision that you won't be a success story, that you will never have that opportunity to be with them again. And the reality is that most people that I've worked with at some point or another felt like that moment would not come for them as well because their ex seemed so determined and because it's so easy to lose hope. But from experience, I know that the reality of one moment is not the reality of another, especially when it comes to to love and strong, intense feelings of connection, chemistry, and attraction. And quite frankly, if your ex went from being in love with you or projecting themselves in a future with you, perhaps you were engaged or, or, or thought about a future together in that way, perhaps you were married, and you get to that point where they no longer want to be with you, you see that things can drastically swing from one to the other. And similarly, things can drastically swing back if you go about this process the right way. When does an ex start regretting their decision? Sometimes it's when they realize that they're not happier without you. Sometimes it's when they realize that the single life that they had hoped for, what they thought they were going to get by breaking up with you is not exactly what they ended up getting. Sometimes it's when they realize how much they actually depended on you for their well-being and happiness. Sometimes it is when they realize that they did not focus enough on your quality traits and attributes and perhaps made a bigger deal of your shortcomings than was necessary. Sometimes it's when they see that you're thriving without them, that you don't need them, that you're happy, which inspires them. Sometimes it happens when your significant other starts to fear losing you because you are no longer chasing them or putting them on a pedestal or because perhaps they see that you're putting yourself out there again. Either way, I don't want you to focus on the end goal or on them regretting losing you. I want you to focus on what you can control because it's by focusing on what you can control and on this process of personal transformation that you're actually able to create the right conditions for them to regret losing you, but also to take steps towards rebuilding a relationship together. And you know that this is something that not only you can do, but something that we can monitor and track and evaluate as long as you are engaged in this process. In some cases, you may start to see your ex takes immediate steps towards you right after the breakup, where you will sense that they're torn. Sometimes they feel one way about a potential future together and at other times they feel a completely different way. Ultimately, I have seen also cases where it has taken weeks, months, and sometimes even years. But it is about this process. It is about you doing the right 
things and laying the right foundation in order to ensure that you're not going to go through yet another breakup. I don't want you to do this out of spite or out of fear of losing your significant other. I want you to engage in this process because you've understood some of the things that you need to do better, both as a partner, as a person, as a human being. And also because you want to engage in a different type of relationship, one that is healthier and more balanced and where both parties are really taking accountability both for themselves, but also to uh, nourish the relationship itself in a very healthy way. If you are able to maintain some level of balance, not fall into the extremes of completely cutting all ties and only focusing on you or the other, which is exclusively living through your ex, the odds are that this moment will come sooner than you think. That through the way that your ex communicates with you, through the way they look at you, through the way they joke with you, by the way they project themselves in a future together, that you're going to see that there's, there's some level of doubt, some level of regret. But just because they're expressing this doubt and this regret in one way or another doesn't mean they're ready to jump into another relationship with you. You're still going to need to be patient. And you're still going to need to continue to focus on letting them take steps towards you. Don't beat them to the punch. Otherwise, you may give them just enough reassurance for them to continue to walk away. It is not an easy journey. And that's why we are here as coaches to support you. We offer private coaching sessions. We offer a number of courses as well as private videos and webinars and really informational meetings to help you understand where you are and what you need to do next. And I invite you to take every advantage of these resources to help you get to where you want to go. That is how we can help you continue to fight the good fight. And um, it is our pleasure and our honor to support you on this journey. As always, thank you for your trust. Keep fighting the good fight and see you very soon for another video.